how to set up a meeting in Microsoft Teams from iPad and set it such that you are the meeting organiser and students are just attendees, which means they can't mute each other or add other people or kick each other out, etc. Two things you need. One is the Microsoft Teams app, which is that one there, bottom middle. The other thing you need is the Google Chrome internet browser app, which is that one there. Okay. Safari, which is the default internet browser on iPad, will not work for this purpose. So if you don't have Google Chrome, go onto the App Store, search for Chrome, and you should you'll be able to download it. Okay, so we go into Teams. We use the tabs along the bottom to find calendar. And then we are going to so you see the left hand banner this is anything that's in your Outlook calendar purple things are Teams meetings grey things are just regular regular events from your, from your Outlook calendar so at the top of this left hand bar there's a thing that says calendar to the right of that there's an, a plus for a new we're going to do um, fourth form maths and I'm going to put my initials just for avoidance of doubt. We're not going to add participants. You could do that and put them all in one at a time, but actually we're going to share it to a channel. And you see there it says only channel members can attend a channel meeting, which is exactly what we want. We only want people within your class, which is your team, to be able to attend. So then I find four form maths. I've created a channel for lessons, you don't need to do that. Okay, so just general would be fine. We put it into that channel and it shows below there saying it's in lessons in fourth form maths. We set the time and it's Thursday period. What amazing how you forget the time, the whole timetable when you're doing these videos. Um, Thursday until the first two periods, sounds about right. And then we press back there, I can see it's recorded the start and the end. Now, repeat. This is a useful feature because this means I only need to do things like, what well, I need to set this up once, and I only need to do the settings once. So I can make it recur every week, and let's get it to end in a month's time. And it recurs every week. Every Thursday, it actually tells you at the bottom here what day it is. Don't need to add a location. Don't need to add a description. Okay, so I'm going to press done there. And a little loading bar in the middle. And then it says event created successfully. Then I look in this left-hand bar. And you'll see at the moment, in 23rd of April, I don't have anything in purple. I don't have any Teams meetings. These are all just things from my calendar. So... I'm going to drag this down and it's going to show me a kind of loading thing at the top which should be updating and now if I go into Thursday you'll see that there is now a Teams meeting how do I know which one it is it's the one with purple on the left hand side so I go into that meeting and just below where it says join and edit there's an option for meeting options if I press see more and then I go to meeting options by default it takes you to Safari but meeting options isn't available on Safari so we have to copy the link we then go to Google Chrome and we want to if you tap twice it might come up you see there's an, it's actually auto-filled and said link that you copied. So I could just tap on that or tap twice, paste, hit enter. Then I'm into this meeting. Okay, and you can see it's four form maths. It occurs every Thursday at 8.45 until May. And what you need to change, who can present this bottom option here, you only want it to be you. Okay. You can set it to specific people if there's some other reason why you might want a student or another teacher involved. But on the whole, you want it to be only me. Save. Get a tick that says done. 
go back, nothing's particularly changed here. If I just want to verify that that's worked, I go meeting options, go through this again. So copy link, go to Google Chrome, open up a new tab, go to the link that I've copied, and you'll see it now says only me. Okay, so I don't need to change anything there, that just confirms it happens. And then I have this meeting in my calendar every Thursday. Okay, and it recurs every week. So every Thursday period one and two until half term, that will appear.